Oh, exactly. I know. Oh. Those are rough games. They should, put, they should put your tears on the radar. <laughs> they, they should. I yeah. mean, that's what's falling outside in the oh. right now. Yeah, it was an unfortunate start to the season. There's still plenty of time. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, it is a rainy start in New York City for sure. It is just hard to get moving on a Monday morning when you have downpours down across New Jersey into Philadelphia, down through Delaware and parts of Maryland, too. This is going to extend up into New England. As you see, the heavier rain is moving into Connecticut. We do have some flood watches in effect because, don't forget, her. Hurricane Lee brought a few inches of rain, especially across down east Maine over the weekend. So any additional rainfall could lead to that flash flooding potential. Just want to point out it's a quick moving storm system. So we'll start off with rain in the morning across the mid-Atlantic. This will move up into New England by this afternoon and evening. And then by tomorrow morning, the whole thing, for the most part, will be pulling away. A little bit of moisture on the backside of it. So still this afternoon, we'll hang on to a few spotty showers. But most of the heavier rain will be across Maine, up through New Hampshire, into southeastern Massachusetts into uh, Rhode Island, too, where we could end up with about one to maybe up to three inches of rain. Just something to keep in mind as we start off this work week. Elsewhere, though, most of the country is looking absolutely gorgeous. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine up across the Midwest, 70s and 80s, a little warmer across the Northern Plains, high today in the 80s and 90s. That's a look at the weather across the country. We'll get to your local forecast in the next 30 seconds. And the Golden Grams. Yeah. Like, uh, before bed. Delightful. I never liked them for breakfast. I, I like them as cream. dessert. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, never nice little crunch. Nice cream. Cream. Emily's yeah. getting upset. This yeah. is not the point of her story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're just all in on cereal. Cereal's serial. booming here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We've got a lot going on in the tropics, although the next big storm system, this Hurricane Nigel, is expected to strengthen into a major hurricane, but it's going to stay out over the water. But it's this little area right in through here off the southeast coast that we'll have to keep an eye on. There's a 30% chance of this developing into to something over the next five to seven days and obviously right along the east coast there so that is something we will uh, certainly keep an eye on but here is hurricane nigel it is a category one storm right now winds are up to 80 miles per hour it is going to remain as a very strong hurricane even strengthening into a major hurricane but you see it's out over the water although this still could impact the surf along the east coast close enough to maybe make uh, the rip currents a little more dangerous as that storm moves up the east coast in the meantime we do have heavy rain across uh, the mid-atlantic into new England today. That is going to be gone by tomorrow morning. And then otherwise, things are staying nice and quiet, even warm across a good portion of the country. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. And Vicki, I think they should be paying you. You did all the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, that was not easy. It was it, not easy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear your health is just fine. All right, let's take a look at what's going on across the country. We've got really a lot of nice weather to talk about this week. Warm temperatures across the upper Midwest, the northern plains. It's beautiful out west. The only trouble spot is this area of low pressure in the mid-Atlantic. This mostly this morning and then moving up into New England with some of that heavier rain. It should clear as the day goes on. And tonight, this whole thing will be racing away. And then we're back to sunshine for the East Coast, too, starting tomorrow. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. That's your latest forecast. All right, Dylan, what time is it? Best time of the morning. Best what time, time is it? Chloe, good morning. Good morning. This week will lead to a negotiation, and then that won't happen. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of pressure talking. on those talks. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Chloe, thanks for that. Appreciate it very much. Next up. Tina and the Rock. Oh, love it. Still ahead. Kaylee's going to take us inside the game. Cute. Ahead on our fourth hour, Hoda will be there. Of course, she's out right now. She'll be back for that. <laughs> uh, they've got the office star, Rain Wilson. Oh, great. Oh, great. Uh, coming up, though, in just a few minutes on the third hour, we're going to share a few laughs and probably switch to a seven second delay <laughs> because Leslie Jones will be live in Studio 1A. She's got this What's hilarious. What's the name of her book? Can't even say the book's name. <laughs> really? No, oh, no. no. Is it going to rain all day out east, dilly it's... dilly? Um, most of the morning. And then it'll get better. Yeah. Like, okay. it'll it'll get better. It always gets better at some point. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> right after a check of your local news, weather, and these mess. Superstar. We are. Anne Hathaway made her Hollywood debut more than 20 years ago in The Princess Diaries, going on to star in favorites like The Devil Wears Prada and Les Miserables, which earned her both an Oscar and Golden and Globe Award. I recently had the chance. It was Great such a lovely conversation. You know what I've noticed? What? When you meet someone and they have projects and they're a movie star, but you can't talk about movies, yeah. you mm -hmm. can't talk about projects, then you end up almost yes. It was a delightful yeah. conversation about, you know, getting older. Mm -hmm. And like she talked about, listen, our lives are not between 17 and 27. So it was, it was lovely. I, it was really I, nice. I like that she insisted on you calling her Annie. Annie! I know. So it's, you're like BFFs now. I know. I felt like it was a sign <laughs> if you go see Juliet on Broadway. Uh, one of the characters is named Anne Hathaway. It's like a joke, and they talk about it. But oh, I was like, oh, it's a sign, and we're okay. talking about it today. So thank you, Annie. Yeah, She's my friend that. now. I enjoyed that. Thanks, I Annie. Enjoyed that. We're going to go from Annie.
To, to my water. cousin Joe. Jo powerhouse. Leslie Jones is no stranger to us here at 30 Rock. She spent five seasons making us laugh on Saturday Night Live. Leslie went on to star in hit movies and shows like Ghostbusters, Coming to America, and she hosted uh, the revival of the popular game show, Supermarket Sweep. Well, now. <laughs> so we I can say it, it 30. <laughs> you did a show. good job. Thank you, that I can't even so think good, of you as just Leslie Jones anymore. A as absolutely. So That's what I decided to write some stuff in this book, and we just start the book. You write stuff in here that you said you're mental mm. as you think it is, is actually an elevation of who you are. I don't have to live your life, you don't have to live mine, but mm -hmm. I don't have to lie no more. Why? Yeah. Yes. yes. Why? I pay my own bills, perfume, in parking lots. I've, I've done so many jobs. The whole time, I was journey. Mm -hmm. You could, it's, it's okay to think of what you want to do and then work your way up to mm -hmm. That's what yes. after the show. Mm -hmm. And and just, you know, mess around, just eat eat chicken wings mm -hmm. and make, la like, laughing with Corey Fernandez on the train. It's uh, Coming home. Like, yeah. those are the, those are the moments that yeah. you go, dang, I wish I had more fun in those yeah. moments. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so true. So the forward of this book is written by the one good point. Us in, I've, in, in, in where I come from, yeah. our group of comedians loves uh, doing more materials that's relatable to all the audiences, mm -hmm. not just one, you know, separate audience. And he just knew. <laughs> you gonna cut him a check? Exactly. Right? I'm gonna cut him a check, all right. <laughs> <laughs> These five knuckles. <laughs> there's a part. There's also a part in the book where you show some love to to a guy that we love here, cousin of the show, Steve Koinak. Oh. During the pandemic, you watch Steve and you learn stuff. Okay, first of all, Steve <laughs> Kanaki is DB. Uh, first of all, when he pulled out that pocket cactus, mm. I love him. Yes. Love me some Steve. Same here. Mm. Uh, made, sexy, made. sexy man. And then just he just got everything right. Uh, he did. Yes. When you can when you when, when he would just keep solving the problems, Mr. Kanaki. <laughs> mm. We should have brought Steve. I in. know. Man, I would have right. been a. Uh, right. Interview. We're, we're going to facilitate that. <laughs> we gonna, we're gonna, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all so, you are so fun. You're a delight. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate back. it. The I new will. book that we cannot say. Go buy it. Uh, Go honestly, buy it. Yes. Play. It's pre-sale. Y'all can get it today. Okay. And if you get it on Amazon, you'll get it tomorrow. Get it. Boom. Yes. Thank there you, it Leslie. is. <laughs> I love it. That little cute little cover. I love that too. All right, up next, our buddy George Oliphant. Yeah, having I, us. Oh I get all of you guys. You look so dapper this morning. I was telling you, I heard until I found you. We all love that song. I heard you wrote it in like 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, I guess. It yeah. Just hit you. If you're a songwriter, it kind of translates into a song. A song. <laughs> 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 aren't quite as familiar with you as they will undoubtedly be after this first album drops. You've got like this. This old school vibe, uh -huh. but yeah. but you're 20. Yeah. So uh, where did that come from? How was that born? Have you always been an old soul? I mean, I just I feel like it just came this way intrinsically. <laughs> I don't know. I found in the modern age with those 50s and 60s I flavors, love it. definitely. I love it can uh, conjure a bit of that old soul for sure. Like we love it. We're here yeah. for it. Yeah, well, let's not waste any time. We're going to let him take it, guys. Thank you, so guys. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. for so dusted yes, up for us. Yes, I know, right? Yeah. The new album is called Angel Face. It's out this Friday. Support this whole group. You guys are fantastic. Friday, September 22nd. We'll be right back. All right, so later today is the first ever Start Today meal prep event. It's sponsored by Instacart. Today, fitness contributor Stephanie Mansour is making healthy and delicious weeknight meals. For more, just scan the QR code or head to today.com slash start today. And by the way, catch the latest episode of Health and Wellness Today this morning at 10 a.m. on today.com slash all day or stream it on Peacock. Tomorrow here on the third hour, we are in the kitchen with none other than actor Stanley Tucci. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder what we're going to cook. And then Alda and Jenner are coming up next. Have a great day. Enjoy your Monday, everybody. I think it's going to be something. Bye-bye. Maybe. Bye.